Hey guys, it's Caitlin, and today I'm going to be doing my Booktubeathon TBR. So I've never done Booktubeathon before, and I'm not 100% sure how it's going to go since I just went back to university, and my schedule might be a little bit full next week, so we'll have to see. But I really wanted to get into it, and I know that I've left it a little late, so we're just going to jump straight into this, and then we can start. So the first challenge for Booktubeathon is to let a coin toss decide your first read. So the books that I'm choosing between are The Next Together by Lauren James and One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. So let's flip a coin. Alrighty. So we'll say The Next Together is Heads and One of Us is Lying is Tails. So let's just... Tails! I've already forgotten which one I said was for that. Did I say one of us is lying is Tails? <laughs> when I edit this, I'll see which one was Tails. I'm pretty sure I just said one of us is lying. So that is the first book for the first challenge of Booktubeathon. The second challenge is to read a book about something that you've always wanted to do. And my choice for this one is a little bit stretched. So I've picked Splintered by A.G. Howard. And if you know anything about this book, you know that it's a twisted Alice in Wonderland retelling. You're probably wondering how this is something that I've always wanted to do, but I don't own any books currently about things that I really want to do. So I do want to go skydiving and I want to learn how to scuba dive and go snowboarding and everything that's in my 2018 goals, but I don't actually own any books on that. So I was thinking really hard about what I could choose and all I remember is when I was younger I was obsessed with watching Barbie movies and I think one of my favourites was The Three Musketeers, so I'd always wanted to be like this really badass girl character and I wanted to be in a fairy tale and that's why I've chosen this book. That's It is a bit of a stretch like I said but it's the only book that actually contains something that I feel like could fit the mold somehow even if it maybe seeps over the edges a little bit. We're just gonna go with that one. The third challenge is to read and watch a book to movie adaptation. So for this one, I've gone with Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. I bought this book not that long ago and I've never seen the movie of it even though all of my friends have. So a couple of my friends, the ones who've read this, actually finished it in about a day. They said that it was amazing and they loved the movie just as much. So I'm actually really excited to pick this one up for the third challenge. The fourth challenge is to read a book with green on the cover. So for this one, I've chosen Hunted by Megan Spooner. This one's green on the cover. She's wearing a green cape, so it counts. This one is a Beauty and the Beast retelling. I picked this one up not too long ago, so I'm actually really pumped to get into it. It seems really interesting, especially the way that they've laid it out. So every now and then you get a point of view from the Beast. It's only one page. Every point of view that I've seen so far has only been one page from him. And then the rest of it is from the main character, Yeva, who is the Beauty. So it sounds so good and I just, oh, I can't wait to get into this one. The same hat the whole time. I didn't think about what hat I should wear. Alrighty, so the fifth challenge is to read a book while wearing the same hat the entire time. So for that one, I've chosen The Immortal Rules because I really, really, really want to finish this trilogy and rereading the first one will be a great way to start that. So the hat that I'm going to be wearing while reading this book is... I don't have a hat head, so we're going to see how well this turns out. So while reading The Immortal Rules, I am going to be wearing my Collingwood Football Club hat. So if you're not Australian, then you probably wouldn't understand what that is. AFL, Australian Football League, Collingwood is the team that my family supports. And it's the only hat that actually sometimes looks decent on my head. And they're doing pretty well at the moment. So Dad would be happy if I walked around the house wearing this hat for a while. So, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, the sixth challenge is to read a book with a beautiful spine. Now, I don't actually own a lot of books with pretty spines. Gen that sounds really bad, and I feel bad saying that, but they're all quite plain, or I've read them all already, and I really don't want to do any rereads for this challenge. So the book that I've chosen is The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. This book is so bright. It's so colourful. And then you look at the spine, and it's just this brilliant, brilliant blue with the black and white arrows with the opposite writing on the inside. I don't really know how to describe a spine. I think it's a pretty spine, so this is my choice for challenge number six. Okay, and the seventh challenge is to read seven books. Now, I doubt I'm gonna make it this far, but just in case I do, I've chosen Alienated by Melissa Landers. 
I really want to read this book. It just sounds like a really nice contemporary read, one that I could probably get through pretty quickly if I do say so myself. I was thinking of just settling for the coin toss loser, so since the one of us is lying I might have gone with the next together, but I don't know. We'll see which one I feel like picking up in the moment, so it'll either be between this one or that one just there. Oh my god. I'm not even holding that many books and I can't carry them still. I'm not coordinated enough for this. Alrighty, so this right here is my Booktubeathon TBR. We will see how many of these books I can actually get through in seven days. So if you're unaware, Booktubeathon is running from the 30th of July until the 5th of August. There are going to be daily video challenges. I'm not sure how I'll be going trying to upload every single day. We might have to combine a couple of videos while we're going through this readathon, but I'm going to try my best. We'll see how many of these I can get through, and I am so excited because this is just reading time, you know? I feel like I haven't read a lot of books this year, even though I have. So I'm just so excited to get through these because this is really narrowing down my TBR pile, and that means I can buy more, you know? <laughs> Alrighty, so that is all for this video, guys. I will see you well, quite soon starting our Booktubeathon videos. Um, yeah, let's see how we go. <laughs> All right, let's take that off now. Now I've got hat hair.